Hey there, Libra. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message, so take what fits and leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home, just try a different message. I'm going to start with the dragons. Pull a dragon. See what comes up. Ooh. And then we'll pull a fairy and an angel. Source dragon attunes you to the infinite. Be still in the silence. Magic can happen. Be in the moment. Okay, a lot of possibilities here for you, Libra. Moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthily, although the fairies say that a little bit of what you fancy is fine. Be mindful of the things you're consuming, not just food, but like entertainment, conversations, um, certain people, vibrations, and stuff like that, especially in your sacred space, in your home. Also be mindful of who's preparing your food, who you're leaving your drinks open around. But all things in moderation. So maybe you're doing a little bit too much of something right now. That might be just a separate message, to be honest with you. Or this is speaking about, again, you have so many different things that you can be doing right now, things that you can be investing your time and energy in, and many of them very well could pay off. Maybe you can spend a little bit of time in all of them instead of overdoing some of them and completely neglecting others. Does that make sense? Like moderation so that you're not spreading yourself too thin. That's, that's really what I'm getting off of that too. So whatever fits, take that and leave the rest for other people. What else do we have? Well, which angel do we have for Libra? Thank you, the angel of faith. Oh, that's such a good one too. Twelve, one, two, three. Twelve is also the hangman, which is seeing things from a different perspective. Or just, yeah, seeing it from a different perspective in a different way, in a different light. Taking a step back. Okay, maybe you, it almost feels like I'm talking to Capricorn or Aries, Virgo. Um, you have a tendency to want to really fully dive into things when you get into them. What I'm getting here is you have several things that you're trying to dive into. Little bit of all of it at once, right? A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Don't completely dive into just one thing and leave it there. Especially, think about it, maybe that's why the eating came into this because... Maybe you come across a dinner, a dish that you really enjoy. So you start eating this dish for lunch and then you have leftovers for dinner. And then you wake up in the morning and you're like, that's all I really want. So you eat a little something for breakfast and then lunch comes around and you get that same dish and then dinner and then the next day. And then, you know what I mean? Like you can really, really junk your body up doing something like that. Moderation, all things in moderation. Even water, like you can drown by drinking too much water in a day. That's a thing. There was this uh, news, like this radio station that was doing um, a challenge about drinking water. And they did it right in the studio and they were all like, you know, narrating it for everybody on the radio listening in. And um, a couple of them 
that made it to the very end got really sick. They took in more water than their body needed and could push out in the amount of time that, yeah. Not good. Moderation here. Because it's a lot of things that you just put a little bit in here, a little bit in here, and you're not used to that. Yep, it's a lot of things. Current energy, eight of wands. This is the naked heart tarot. A lot of things. Just tip your toes and everything going around, you know, and keep doing that. Lovers, yeah. You're supposed to be uniting. You're supposed to be, um, for some of you, it's a lot of people that are looking for your attention right now. You've only got so much time. If you can keep the conversations brief, you know, stick to the bullet points and then, hey, I've actually, I'm going to have to get back a hold of you later to catch up, catch up, whatever the case may be here. Um, no, because you just did catch up. There's something weird. You know what I think it is, Libra? I think you're so worried that because you're not putting your everything into a couple of things and just what you have left in the rest, you feel like you're not doing enough. You feel like you need to put more into your stuff. You don't. See, that's how you, that's how you keep throwing yourself into burnout. Moderation. Like, you are so fucking connected, it's insane right now, Libra. Let's be so for real. Moderation, though. What's in the foundation? Oh, okay. The King of Cups in reverse. You need to keep the faith alive. You are doing enough by doing a little all in all of the places that you need to. That is enough. Ooh, I'm having a hard conversation because I feel like this is a new perspective that you struggle with. Yes, in the recent past is. Unhealthy foundations. You need better time management skills here, Libra. Somebody's putting toxicity into their home, into their body, into their schedule. Pulling late nights and early mornings is not going to cut it. Again, burnout. Crowning is the Queen of Swords, the harsh truth. Okay, so you at least are hearing me. Yeah, it might hurt a little bit. It might be a little harsh. I know. I'm sorry. I have to have these harsh conversations with myself, too, because I'm like, Jess, you're really overdoing this and slacking over here. Get your shit together. Like, mm-hmm. I have to have these same conversations with myself. But at least that's what's going on in the mind space. You know, you're aware, and from there you can really look at it and say, okay, well, why, why don't I cut back on this a little bit? I can see where I, I can make myself more flexible for these things. If I cut back right here and there and mm -hmm. let's see, um, near future. Oh, the page of cups. Wonderful. Wonderful. So this is you Stepping more into that faith, stepping more into your emotions as well. Maybe you were being um, more like strategizing, looking at things from a business type of professional perspective. She must like your high vibration because she only comes up when she really likes the high vibe. Yeah, when the energy's real good, she can't help it. 
she only does that stands right over the cards and everything when she really likes it but you're healing a lot yeah it, see mm -hmm. and the page is holding the ace of cups so basically this is you doing things more from the heart Yeah, and it looks like your head is on the same page with a lot of this. Here's the king to go with the queen of swords. Mm-hmm. Your head doesn't have to do it all. Your heart definitely needs to take the, the stage a little bit as well here. There's that balance. What's in the um, challenge? the challenge Ooh, temperance and the innocence of swords yeah it's almost like you know your healing process is just kind of waiting for you to have that honest discussion take a real good honest look at your schedule and see that you really can cut back on this a little bit and invest more over here and then everything gets to flow smoothly right it's not like you need to make these big huge major changes i'm not really getting big changes i'm just getting tweak a couple of things it's gonna feel weird confirmation from the boat um yeah it's gonna feel weird at first but like you'll get used to it and i i feel like you're going to feel a lot better emotionally. Of course, that eventually will impact your physical um, as well. You're going to feel better because you're not having to spread yourself so thin in certain areas that you're not sure if you have enough energy or time in the day to actually, you know, touch base there. Or if you're going to have to just, oh, I'll check on that tomorrow and and while overdoing it somewhere else not everything gets to run more smoothly i i don't know how else to say it how's the universe feeling libra the magician yeah you're manifesting a lot right now you're working on a lot right now you have everything you need it's just a little bit of that Not overdoing one area, making sure everything is running smoothly, you know? I think maybe you were a little bit hyper-focused, slightly obsessed with something, spending too much time. And there's other things going on, too. You know, this could also be like, if you have a new romantic something, something coming in, you might be spending a lot of time with them, and you're kind of like, maybe you're... Um, if you have your own business here, you might feel like you're slacking on that a little bit. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, or maybe your friends and family are missing you a little bit. There's something going on here. Yeah. There's just some healing that needs to take place surrounding all of this. Now, what you're manifesting is that healing. Maybe this reading is helping you. That's exactly what it is. This was something that the divine's trying to communicate to you that maybe you weren't receiving because they threw so much at you at once. But this is something that you weren't catching in those conversations. So I'm here. Yeah, you we're here to point it out now. Okay. I get I got it. I got it. I got it. What's the goal? But again, this is stepping more in your intuition. Instead of feeling like you have to control everything, if I don't over, you know, put a bunch into this, then it's never going to go anywhere. That's not true, though. The divine views you as the star. Do you realize if this is a business for you, this is going to be a booming business? Don't forget all this other stuff over here because, like, that could be other extensions, other things that you do that people would be interested in because they've seen your work over here. What's your work over there? Right? Right? And who cares if it's like you make perfumes and then you make paintings. Maybe people like both your perfume and your paintings. So don't be slacking on your paintings because you're so worried about having so many bottles of perfume. Like get those paintings too. Like it, it's, it's, you know, <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. What's the goal for Libra? <laughs> 
That was interesting. Perfume and paintings. Okay, so the goal, seven of cups to the six of pentacles. You spend too much time in one area. You get very clouded with that, and it's hard to see everything else going on in the background because you're so closely inspecting this thing here that all this other stuff is going on unnoticed. But when you take a step back and you got a little bit in all the areas, look at how much easier it is to keep that flow. See the sense of order here? right and then you come over here and it's like let's start a riot a riot you know? <laughs> it's just it's it's chaotic nobody needs that you don't need that mm -hmm. solid foundations because you have you are meant to benefit be abundant off of all of these projects Make sure they're all getting enough water. They're all getting enough sunlight. They're all getting enough sweet words. They're all getting enough attention and love and birds and right, right. I'm curious what's behind that. Four swords and the sun. Wow. Healing and ascension. Putting some things to rest. Or I'm sorry, taking a break from some things really brightens it up. I'm telling you, because this is the happiest card in the deck. I'm telling you, if you don't like put all of it into one or two, the way that this smoother energy is going to lift your spirits just by things being so calm, think, like you don't realize how good that feeling is going to be. And I think that, ah, that's what I'm trying to say. That's what they're trying to get me to spit out. Phew. It's okay, though, because I kind of feel like we were struggling to even see this part of what's going on anyways. So it makes sense that I would be struggling to get it to you. Maybe, maybe there's a chunk of the Libra Collective that doesn't want to hear it, and that's why it's kind of hard to, to get it across, you know? Maybe a little bit of both, right? We're talking about moderation and all things being involved and for a reason. You're hurting yourself here. There's a healthier, much healthier way to do this. I feel like over obsessing with one, two things, it, it's really setting yourself up to possibly have to give up on other things. Okay, I just put those back in and shuffled. What's the potential outcome here? I don't even think I said that, though. Potential outcome. Then again, that could be a potential outcome, but I want something better. Yeah, choosing a new path, a different way. Fucking judgment, man. I'm telling you. The life that's going to come back to you, the happiness that's going to come back to you, this just everything is calm. Everything is good. Everything... It's nice, right? Oh, it's so peaceful. I love this energy. There it is. Letting some things go, taking that step back a little bit, and really being able to take care of everything. It becomes so much easier. I feel like you're putting unnecessary pressure on yourself in specific areas of your life. No one is expecting all of that from you. They're really not. I'm not saying that you can't because you can do this. We just need to be a little bit more articulate about it. You can do everything, Libra. I will never doubt on you ever, ever. But I do see dis disruption in your heart space. Maybe you really think that you need to go this hard for things to work out. You don't. You left that toxicity in the past. It's not over here. There is a little bit of imbalance, but you're currently working on that right now. 
And in the very near future, you're going to feel really good that you did because oh, huge weight lifted right off. Let's get a moon card to close for Libra. Please and thank you, spirit. <clears throat> and then I need to add some water to the cat's water thing because I can hear that getting low. I can't. I can't make it up. I don't know how people come on here and fake read tarot. Healthy boundaries keep me centered and balanced. Also, go outside. Go outside. Spend some time in nature. Mm -hmm. Do that. It's going to feel good. I'm going to leave it right here, Libra. I hope this helps you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.